Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? Amazing friendsters. So we are going to make a beautiful my version of anniversary spaghetti sauce. We got a spaghetti sauce that we're going to make to celebrate our anniversary so this is very special to me and to my baba and so we are going to make a beautiful well I got a beautiful amazing ingredients right here so what I have first starts on my soy sauce a combination of soy sauce and then uh, a tablespoon of oyster sauce I have sugar pepper to taste okay Paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, I have tomato paste, and one of the special ingredients that I have right here is our black olives. Okay, that's black olives right there. Our garden combination spaghetti sauce or you call it I don't know I just call them like sauce you can use them for pasta or um, uh, meat but I like using this but of course with my special ingredients up here and what I have I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna pick it up so what I have is an onion Parsley, a lot of parsley. I have portobello mushrooms. Okay, it's a portobello mushrooms right there. And I'm gonna be using two different kinds of meat. And I can't find a uh, just a ground wagyu beef, but I found a uh, wagyu patty. But I can use them. You know, you can just take one or two patty of uh, this beautiful Wagyu and a ground chicken ground chicken so this is a really nice combination and this is really good so it's a combination chicken is a very light flavor and the uh, Wagyu beef is a delicious creamy and the flavor is just amazing so if you combine these two beautiful meat it is so good so before we get too long i guess we can start cooking amazing friendster okay so we got our onion okay. beautiful Smells so good. Okay. When are gonna put our mushrooms? So while we have our uh, mushrooms and onion, I'd like to put my paprika a little bit and a little bit more later on because I like putting my herbs and spices while it's roasting. Nice. Ooh, it smells so good. And you can see the change of color nice and beautiful reddish right there that's what we want okay. okay so there you go guys after sauteing our onion garlic and I put some paprika and chili powder and you can see the difference of colors delicious so I'm going to have our wagyu beef since it's a patty, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one patty. Okay, I'm gonna use one patty. One patty, one patty. Mm. Yum. Yum yum. 
and I tell you right guys the flavor of this Wagyu beef is amazing this is one of my favorites okay Ooh, yum. okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go get my chicken Whoop. we're gonna put half of my chicken beautiful yay yum oh smells so good now okay mix them up ooh amazing The flavor is just so good. Just the smell. Million dollars. Million dollars. Smells of our beautiful anniversary. Spaghetti. Song. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some garlic powder now. Love. A lot of garlic powder right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then gonna put some pepper. Because you know, guys, you want to season your meat because that's where you get the flavors of your spaghetti sauce I know some of them doesn't use meat on uh, their spaghetti but if you put meat especially with two different kinds like this it tastes so much better million dollar taste million dollar taste <laughs> so the next thing is our tomato paste ah uh, you know what i'm just gonna put the whole thing put the whole thing and this is an organic wally world an organic tomato paste okay toss it out and tomato paste will enhance the sauce and it's not just gonna be like you know like eating a uh, blunt spaghetti sauce tomato paste will enhance the flavor and it will give a lot of body to your sauce nice and beautiful Yum. Yum. and you know sometimes guys when we have a leftover of our uh, spaghetti sauce my baba will just use them put some um, white rice pour them on the top and you know it is just for him it's just like oh my god this is so good and he likes spaghetti for sure even just the uh, I guess the spaghetti sauce but anyway before I forgot so I'm gonna put the black olives and it's a chopped one but you can use also the the sliced one gonna be the same but I figured I'm gonna use this chopped one so it will give more body also it will add the texture of our sauce hey okay, don't waste that little olives up there it's empty go. mix it up Ooh. 
yum. Already yum. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is simmer them for a couple of minutes, okay? So there you go guys, after simmering our meat, mushrooms, and onion. So we are going to put half of our parsley. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. And then, I'm going to add my soy sauce and oyster sauce okay perfect our sugar this is one of my secret ingredients for our anniversary spaghetti is the sugar because it balances out the saltiness sourness of our tomato paste tomato sauce and it is flavorful if you add a little bit of sugar on your sauce okay the next thing that we're going to put in is our garden combination sauce okay we're gonna add half first and then mix it up Ooh. See that guys, ooh, so meaty. Who doesn't like a meaty spaghetti sauce? Yum, oh, so good. So good. Okay, add a little bit more. Yum! Yay! Look at that, guys. Look at that anniversary spaghetti sauce we got right there. Delicious! Okay, so we are going to just simmer them for 5 to 7 minutes. And this is pretty much ready for your spaghetti. And I'm going to show you how to make our spaghetti pasta also that I have in my fridge. Okay, so we'll just simmer them for 5 to 7 minutes and this is pretty much ready for your wonderful spaghetti. So there you go guys, so we're going to make our spaghetti pasta today. So what I have right here is I'm going to be using a... It's a vegetable spaghetti and um, what's in it? So, this is a zucchini and spinach. Here you go, guys. So, we're going to make our spaghetti pasta today. So, what I have right here, I have about four cups of uh, water. So, we're going to boil them. So what I have is vegetable pasta. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. So this is made of zucchini and spinach. Zucchini, spinach. This is good. This is one of my favorite uh, vegetables. Vegetables. Okay, so what we have right here is our water. And it starts, it seems like it's starting to boil. And then, put some kosher salt to have the taste on our pasta. You don't have to put too much if you doesn't want to. It seems like it's not coming out. So that is good for me. Not too much salt. And I think it's starting to boil. So all we have to do is just wait for like two or three minutes okay okay guys so this is the water is already boiling up so what we're going to do is put our beautiful spaghetti vegetable spaghetti ah! <laughs> there you go 
this is delicious so all you have to do that's the secret on making your spaghetti faster little by little push it down yep there you go yay I'm so excited with our anniversary is spaghetti beautiful okay. there you go guys after seven minutes of our beautiful vegetables noodles so that's what it looks like so let me taste it because we want al dente that's perfect so and I have a leftover I have a leftover parsley we are going to add that to our noodles I love parsley this will level up the flavor of our noodles so I'm just gonna turn it off beautiful nice see how nice and beautiful that is so we're going to drain it okay 